All right, kindergartners, we're doing Eddie Elephant today. And this one, more than even some of those others, it's not going to turn out really looking like an elephant. It's just going to have the idea of an elephant. But you're going to need elephant co colors. So I'm going to use black and gray for my elephant colors. So go ahead, think the elephant colors you want to use. Get those crayons, your other crayons, you know, for your border and your background, and we'll get started. All right, boys and girls, you can see I already went ahead and did my border. Um, because I'm trying to make a little bit shorter video this week and that's what takes quite a while. So I'm going to go ahead and start with my E now. You pause your video, get your border finished, and then start the video. So of course with an E we're going to start with our big line down at the smiley face starting dot spot and we're not going to be needing space to have a head on top of this. So of course still you know it doesn't need to start right at the top. But sometimes students start them up too high and then discover they have no space to put a head on. And we don't need to put a head on because we're actually going to be putting the head kind of inside on this one. So I'm going to even out my big line down here. All right. Here I am, although this part is kind of small and pointy. So I'm going to. There we go. And you can see here. My black crayon has broken, so I'm just using it like that, just like my yellow one at school has broken. All right, there's my big line down. Now I come back up to the top and I do my little line across the top. So there's that. And a little bit more over here. All right, there's my big line across the top. And now, I, sorry, it's not a big line, is it a little line? Now I need to do my little line across the middle. So here it is. And then, last of all, I need my little line across the bottom. Oops. All right. Now you don't have to do black. Elephants aren't really black. But I do black for the letter because I'm going to use gray for the body and that will make my letter really stand out a lot. All right. Now, the way we're going to do this is to put his head up in here and his belly and his uh, bottom legs here, and these will be his front legs. So like I said, it's not going to be exactly like an elephant. But of course, the most obvious part of an elephant is the elephant's trunk. So we're going to start with that. And I'm going to start kind of up here with his trunk which isn't, you know, exactly how an elephant goes, but it is above his mouth, the spot where his trunk is. So there we go. And maybe I'll make the end of it curl out just a little bit. And you know, the very end of an elephant trunk often has a little pink, so I might add in, use my red here and just give it a little bit of pinkish color down there at the end. All right. So here's my nice, you know, elephant trunks are really strong, so I'm going to make it nice and muscly looking. Now the next thing I'm going to do is actually draw in an ear because I want to make sure the ear really is obvious. So, you know, elephants, they have kind of these big floppy ears, right? So here's my elephant ear and I'm going to go ahead and color that in right now. All right, one lovely elephant ear. And then I'm gonna give him kind of a forehead, which is really where, I mean, you know, the nose ought to come out from there, but, and then a little bit of some elephant lips. I'm gonna make him be smiling a little bit. I don't know, that doesn't really look, let's see, how can I do this? 
maybe like that. Maybe I'll go ahead and make all of that be the top lip. There, does that look a little bit like a smiley elephant? We'll pretend it does. All right, color in his face. I'm going to color in this lip here where I tried and experimented a few different things. And I bet your face turned out looking different than mine. I hope it did. You know, we don't really want to just completely copy each other. We want to be making our own art creations here. The thing that needs to look the same on all of them is the letter, right? The rest of the picture can be kind of different. So there he is. Now, just to make it seem a little bit more elephanty, I don't usually put eyes on things, but I do add an eye on my elephant. There we go. I might even see if I can give a little black dot in the middle there. All right. There's my, my elephant face. Maybe his trunk should even have been longer. I don't know. All right. Now I'm going to give him a not a huge belly, but a little bit of a belly, right? Because elephants, they 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 have some tummy on them. And then here's the rest of his bottom foot. And can you see here's his top feet, his front feet, I guess. And then I'm going to color in this part of his belly here. All right, keep going back. And then the last part of the elephant that we need to do is the tail. Now, elephants have a tail kind of like a donkey tail or a zebra tail. So, uh, except where a donkey or a zebra has kind of a tuft of hair on the end of its tail, an elephant, you know, they're this great big animal, great big ears, great big trunk, big strong legs great big body, their hide, their skin is really thick. Kind of like there, there just wasn't anything left over for their tail to have much. So an elephant tail is not very big. And it comes down to kind of a, a really thin little point here. So there it is, my elephant tail. Not much to it, right? Now, I decided for my background, I'm going to use my apricot because I don't actually use this crayon very much. So I'm going to go ahead and start coloring this in. You can see I'm going ahead and doing this really lightly. I'm making sure, ooh, and I'm going into my black a little bit. Can you see it smearing just a bit? So even though this is a light color and it's not really going to change the way my elephant looks, I still want to make sure I'm working carefully around it. Just first of all, because it's a good habit to have all the time. But second, because even, you know, with this, you can still get things off just a little bit. All right, like I said, I'm going kind of quickly here, but can you tell? It's hard to see. If you can take a good look at that, you can see I'm not leaving white spaces. I am checking, and if I see a space where there's no color, I'm going to go back in and I'm going to add some color there. You know, elephants, they're often in Africa. And not all of Africa is a big dry desert. There are parts of Africa that are big jungles. But elephants, they don't really live in the dry desert. And they don't really live in the jungle either in Africa. In India, they're in the, in the jungle. But African elephants are different. They live out on the savanna. So this guy's going to live in an area where it's kind of dry and sandy, but it's not completely dry and sandy all the time. There will be some grasses. You've probably seen pictures of elephants in water, right? That they like to get in the water and they like to suck up some water in their trunk and then spray it over their backs. Sometimes they roll in dirt, even those great big huge animals, they get themselves down on the ground and roll in the dirt. So there might even be some little trees out on the savanna where these guys live. Not a lot, but there are acacia trees there. That's what giraffes really like to eat. All right. 
I am just about done here. Going back and forth. And you can see I'm going pretty quickly, but I'm also really holding my crayon on the side and I'm not pressing very hard at all. So it doesn't turn out scribbly, does it? I'm making sure that all the spaces are colored in. And since I'm coloring really lightly, it doesn't look scribbly. If I were pressing harder, or if I had a darker color, coloring like this might look kind of scribbly. But I have a light color and I'm not pressing very hard at all. All right, oh. It looks like I caught a little black there too and got a little smear, but that's all right. Okay, there it is, right? We're not going for absolutely magnificent looking like an elephant, but just a basic idea of an elephant, right? We've got the nice long trunk and a big ear, the tail, so we can tell we're looking at the elephant.